Can you think of a bird that can swim in the water and walk on the land but can't fly? If you were thinking of a penguin, then you'd be right. There are 18 different species of penguin found in various places around the world. From the tall and regal emperor penguin to the smallest species, the aptly named little penguin, and everyone else in between. These birds are really quite remarkable. Of all the species, the little penguins or fairy penguins would have to be my favourites. I may be a tad biased though, because here at Adelaide Zoo, I get to see a whole colony of these little guys every day. They spend their days swimming, diving and darting through the water at speeds of up to 40 kilometres per hour. Their bodies are streamlined and their wings are modified flippers, perfect for speedy, agile movements. But on land, I have to admit, they are slightly less graceful. While this iconic penguin waddle isn't the fastest method to get from A to B, it gets the job done, especially when they have reason to be somewhere quickly. We serve up nothing but the best for our little friends. If it's good enough for us, it's good enough for them. Let's check in with Keeper Nick to find out the best method for feeding hungry little penguins. Every day, the penguins need about six or seven fish. And so what we do is have a special chart that's got everybody's colour code from their ankle on the chart. And we tick everybody off as they get their fish. Some penguins are definitely more food motivated than others. Some penguins who are feeding chicks have been known to take 13 fish at a time. When you look at a little penguin, it's only yay big. That's an enormous amount of fish. Each penguin has their own unique personality and it's quite entertaining to observe the colony's behaviour. We've got Victor, who can be quite assertive around others if he needs to. We have a great little penguin called Oddball, who is inquisitive and a real explorer. No matter who they like to play with or where they like to spend their time, they all have an important role here at Adelaide Zoo. Our penguins act as ambassadors for their wild cousins and they help us to educate our guests. We're proud to take part in regional and international breeding programs for the little penguin. They may be small, but these little penguins have big personalities, which is another reason why these little ones are one of my favourite penguin species.